If you recently got an air fryer and you're excited to try some recipes, these air fryer sweet potatoes are a great starting point. Hey guys, I'm Yumna, aka Feel Good Foodie, and I think the first two things that I made in my air fryer a few years ago were chicken and potatoes. And what I love about cooking sweet potatoes in the air fryer is there's really no need to soak the potatoes, there's no need to add cornstarch, there's even no need for a lot of oil. In fact, all you really need is about a teaspoon of oil per sweet potato. These are healthy, crisp sweet potatoes that you'll wanna make over and over again. So let's get started because we've got some chopping to do. All right, this recipe calls for two medium sweet potatoes. So what I like to do is um, try to make sure that the kind of sweet potato that I'm buying is kind of wide as much as possible instead of one that's really long. And that's just gonna make pretty fry shapes, but it's totally optional. So we're gonna use a vegetable peeler and just peel the sweet potato all around like so. So now what we're gonna do is you wanna use a really sharp knife as much as possible because it's just gonna make it so much easier to cut the sweet potato. And I get a lot of questions on how do you cut a sweet potato so finely? And it really all comes down to the knife. So what I'm gonna do now is just cut this in half. And what makes it easier also to cut a sweet potato is to also turn it on the flat side down. So as soon as you cut it in half, turn it on the flat side down like this. If you wanted to make it um, extra pretty, you can cut off the ends and use them for another recipe. That way, they're all pretty even in size. And now what I like to do is just go through and cut all the way down. And you wanna try to cut them as evenly as possible in their thickness. So we're aiming for about 1 fourth inch thickness for each sweet potato. And that's gonna allow everything to just cook more evenly in the air fryer so you don't get a batch that's burnt while a few others are not cooked yet. And this is what we're looking for. And as you're cutting them, you can go ahead and drop them in a bowl. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and season it. We're gonna add some garlic powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. Now, like I said, you don't need a lot of oil when you're cooking sweet potatoes in the air fryer. In fact, you probably just need about a teaspoon of oil for one sweet potato. And it doesn't look like much, but if you use your hands to mix everything together, you'll see that a teaspoon of oil is just the perfect amount. And while it's not mandatory to preheat the air fryer, I highly recommend it because that means that when you're putting the sweet potatoes in the air fryer, it's already hot and it's already at the temperature that we want. And I recommend 380 degrees for about 12 minutes, making sure to shake the basket a couple times. This is an example of one that's um, too thin. We probably don't wanna go ahead and air fry this just because it's um, not gonna crisp up too much. It's probably gonna burn before the rest of them cook. So we can toss it. All right, now that the air fryer is preheated, we're gonna go ahead and add the potatoes right to the air fryer. And you wanna make sure to leave some space in between the fries. So you're gonna have to do this in a couple of batches. And that's really important because if they're too close together, you might create a steaming effect. And we don't wanna create a steaming effect. We want a crisping effect. So in order to create nice, crisp sweet potatoes, you wanna make sure to keep a distance between each fry. So this can be tedious if you're doing this with a lot of sweet potatoes and your air fryer is not very large, but it's perfect for a couple serving sizes. Um, and not overcrowding the air fryer is the best tip I can give you to make sure that they come out nice and crisp. All right, time's up. Let's check up on the sweet potato fries. All right, look how good they look. They're nice and crisp. They're not like frying potatoes in oil, but they do kind of crisp up on the outside, which comes out so good when you're having it as a side dish. Now what I like to do is I like to transfer them to a wire rack just for a couple minutes before serving them because what's gonna happen is air is gonna circulate around the wire rack and just gonna help them crisp up just a little bit more. All right, we let these rest for a couple minutes and here's the second batch. I'm just gonna add everything to this plate. And then you can serve these with ranch, you can serve them with ketchup, you can serve them with whatever you want. I just love keeping it super simple, serving them with some ketchup or kind of depends on the meal as well to see exactly what I'm gonna have them with. All right, I'm just gonna serve them with a little bit of chopped cilantro or parsley just to add a little bit of color. All right, we've got a nice crisp one right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little taste test. They're so good. I love sweet potato fries and I love making sweet potato fries in the air fryer because you end up using much less oil, which makes them a lot healthier. They're nice and crisp on the outside, tender on the inside, and they have the best flavor from all the seasoning that we used. There's so much to love about this recipe and I hope you love it as much as I do. If you make this air fryer sweet potato fries, please, DM me, Facebook me, tweet me, or send me a message on my website because I love to see all your wonderful photos and hear about your recreations. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube. 
I'll see you at the next video.